Thursday for Charlotte's primary municipal election. You'll be able to vote for CMS Board of Education seats, City Council and Mayor. But one thing is new this year, an ID is required to vote. Most people will use their North Carolina driver's license. But what other forms of ID are acceptable? Well, a U.S. passport or state ID can be used. So can certain college or university student IDs or state or local government IDs, but only if they've been approved by the State Board of Elections. Voters can also get a photo ID card from their county board of elections. The voter ID law certainly has a long history in North Carolina. It was initially passed by the General Assembly in 2013, but a federal court determined it was unconstitutional. In 2018, voter ID was put on the ballot as an amendment to the state constitution. It passed, but was again struck down by the state Supreme Court. Republicans then regained a majority on the court. They re-examined the ruling this past May, and they overturned it. Last month, NAACP's Deborah Maxwell said this is going to make it harder for some people to vote. We're a large state. That is a long way from places who don't have transportation, don't have access, and it is unfair to the citizens of this state to subject them to a barrier to their ability to vote. So the key here, planning ahead, according to the North Carolina State Board of Elections, you can still vote if you forget your ID. You'll just be required to fill out an ID exception form. Now there are 10 one-stop early voting sites in Charlotte. You see them there listed on your screen, scattered about the city. Early voting ends September 9th. Charlotte's primary election day is September 12th. You also may be wondering, will you need an ID if you vote by mail? The answer to that, yes, you will. You're going to be asked to include a photocopy of your ID when returning your ballot. These new rules apply to all future elections in North Carolina, again, no matter where you live.